Phoenix Operator Owner Manual. Including flight instruction. If used properly 1,000 year, plus or minus, warranty, 144,000 planets tested. Manufacturer Eden. Maintenance Service Authorized Instructors. Jesus Sananda Lord Michael St. Germain. Computer Personnel Drophia, Thomas, Dara. Parts and User Complaints J. Argus C. Hutton. Copyright Position Statement and Disclaimer. The Phoenix Journals are intended as a real-time commentary on current events, how current events relate to past events and the relationships of both to the physical and spiritual destinies of mankind. All of history, as we now know it, has been revised, rewritten, twisted and tweaked by selfishly motivated men to achieve and maintain control over other men. When one can understand that everything is comprised of energy and that even physical matter is coalesced energy, and that all energy emanates from God's thought, one can accept the idea that successful focusing of millions of minds on one expected happening will cause it to happen. If the many prophecies made over thousands of years are accepted, these are the end times, specifically the year 2000, the second millennium, etc. That would put us in the sorting period and only a few short years from the finish line. God has said that in the end times would come the word, to the four corners of the world, so that each could decide his slash her own course toward, or away from, divinity, based upon truth. So, God sends his hosts, messengers, to present that truth. This is the way in which he chooses to present it, through the Phoenix journals. Thus these journals are truth, which cannot be copyrighted, they are compilations of information already available on earth, researched and compiled by others, some, no doubt, for this purpose which should not be copyrighted. Therefore, these journals are not copyrighted, except Sipopoadasi which is fiction. The first 60 or so journals were published by America West Publishing which elected to indicate that a copyright had been applied for on the theory that the ISBN number, so necessary for booksellers, was dependent upon the copyright. Commander Hedden, the primary author and compiler, insisted that no copyrights be applied for and, to our knowledge, none were. If the truth is to reach the four corners of the world, it must be freely passed on. It is hoped that each reader will feel free to do that, keeping it in context, of course. Introduction. Eden. I come this day that ye shall be given to recognize of my presence. I am. I am the law, the truth, and the word. You need no burning bushes nor snakes into the staff, nor do you need blazing wheels in the cosmos. Hear me clearly, children, for you who have been misled into the corners of darkness and into behaviors which have imbalanced your planet and soiled the places of perfection, shall hear me, find truth and turn unto that truth in the days that follow, or you shall be separated into the places away from my presence. For, as you have made your choices, and continue to act in ways against the laws, as given unto your species to maintain balance and wholeness of soul direction, you shall continue in the places of the adversary which have pulled you down. You have put reason and godly thought to the side and entered into the places of darkness, claiming that you know not that which is truth and living according to that which man has made legal, but that which remains unlawful. Now you spread the shackles of the voted in legal evil which have been thrust upon you in your modern world and have defiled all that remain sacred and wondrously gifted unto you. I have sent my hosts to give truth unto you of the planet Earth, Shen, and I have sent the word and until the ending of the cycle so shall it be thus. You have no way to know of the time which might be given unto you to find your way into the lighted path of godly behavior and truth. You continue to flail about in your carnage and denounce my messengers. Blessed are the ones who see and hear, for theirs shall be my kingdom. Blessed are you who pass the word of truth unto thine brethren in giving and tolerant sharing, for you shall shortly see of my being. I am as near as the breath you draw, I see and know all within each of my children's beings and you have taken me into the holes of heads in your sloven and evil practices which you conceal and hide in the dark secrets and deceptions even against those you claim protection and love of, you commit treason against that which was placed into your care and destroyed it, you deceive your children which were given into your care, those which you have left and murdered, now you fill them with lies and teach them to murder, rob, live in deceit, war and addictions. Point. That which you have done shall be visited likewise upon them, for neither shall they who have been misled be within the places of light, for you have extinguished the flame of truth and light within them. You ask, what means, the sins of the father shall be visited upon his children? This is that which it means. 
that, as you have bent the twig into the contortions of the diseased tree, so shall the disease have spread and the fruit ruined and in spoilage. You shall bear your own bloodline into the void of separation, if ye change not. You interpret the laws, as given for your journey and you consume the fuel which consumes the energy which thrusts your vehicle instead of moving it in glorious motion onto the lighted places of immortality in wondrously gifted wonders and growth into the places of the soaring eagles of my fleet. What mean I, when I say unto you, to everyone who overcomes, who to the very end keeps on doing things that please me, I will give power over the nations, and I will give you the morning star? I mean, that you shall have abundance, glory and the evil empire shall fall into shambles at the feet of my hosts and of my people and the place shall come again within the laws laid forth in truth, balance and harmony. The morning star. The adversary, Satan, has taken the label given unto his first perfection and torn the beauty and perfection asunder and yet still labels himself the morning star, the great white morning star. The adversary shall be handed into the hands of my people who have turned unto the word. I have watched and waited, as you have taken truth and turned it into lies. I have watched, as those of the evil adversary have labeled themselves, as my chosen people and called themselves Jews which never was of me nor of my people. My children of Judea were blessed and, when you failed, the punishment was great, for you lost your relationship with the Christed beings sent to set you to right direction, as you turned him and those who were sent with him away, as you clung unto the adversary of my lighted teachers. You were scattered about the earth and unto a lands which were not yours, as you were put into separation from myself by your own choosing. Now you have allowed the very evil leader, himself, to take all that was gifted unto you and follow an empty idol unto the abyss of restlessness. There can be no fulfillment which flows from the physical flesh for the physical flesh is but dust and unto dust shall again return, and you who follow the beast within thy bangness of soul shall be left to continue the endless search in restless agony and find no peace within your beings. I know that you once have lost your strength, as forfeit unto the bastard child of evil. You have followed and consumed that which he has given you and called wonderful. You have poisoned your bodies and corrupted your minds and chased madly hither and yon to gain of the lustful, greedy luxuries and ill behaviors of that which is taught to bring pleasure to the human physical. But you have found chaos, pain, non-fulfillment, restless searching and you have found no peace. You have become diseased and plague-riddled robotic zombies who stumble hither and yon without direction and bow to those who send you forth in battle for their evil wishes. You have few who will stand against the dragon even, as he spews his fire upon your being but rather wallow in the ashes declaring it wondrous and good. You give lies unto your brethren, while you say that some of that which is brought by my host, heaven, for instance, is taken with great difficulty. You claim great difficulty with the attitude displayed by the one, heaven, who communicates the information, for instance, about AIDS, and many other relevant topics to today's troubled times, but his information supports one, Dr. Strecker's research. So, the inference is that scent of God can be peered upon, for it supports an earth man's research. I shall just give you the rest of the quotation coming from one in Canada and who actually came and had interview with heaven and shared in the gracious hospitality of ones who serve our hosts. He came on more than one occasion and did, in fact, claim to be in total, and flinching service unto God and did, further, want funding for his projects, of course, to come from these ones, but he liked not the attitude of heaven, as heaven pronounced the truth of the laws. In other words, I will serve God and do God's work as long, my God, as I can do it my way. He continues in his advertising for his own gain, we have ordered all of the books, Phoenix journals, listed on their order form, and we receive each new publication, as it is printed. They produce one or two new books each month. Heaven, we are convinced, does not understand the structures of human consciousness, the higher purposes and function of sexuality, nor many other human activities. We dispute many claims he makes about his highest intelligence, any, God, Eden, and understanding of our planet's needs, such as our protection, etc., but the information he has access to is most valuable, and has caused great distress in the U.S. government. He continues later with, keep yourself updated with the spotlight and the phoenix, not giving your attention to heaven's critical nature and focus on the negative which only hurts and isolates himself and others.